So you need a new pair of runners and you've turned to ASICs. You've heard great things about the Gel Nimbus, you've heard great things about the Gel Cano, but which do you choose? What's good YouTube? You're kicking it with Jordan and today we are going to discuss the difference between the ASICs Gel Nimbus and the ASICs Gel Cano and which one is better for you. Let's do it. So I decided to make this video because this is a very common question amongst those who are new to ASICs. And I've noticed that this question has been addressed on YouTube, but to very specific models. For example, they'll talk about, oh, how is the Gel Nimbus 18 compared to the Gel Cano 23? How is the Gel Nimbus 22 compared to the Gel Cano 26? And these reviews are absolutely great, but they can still be a little bit confusing because each model of the shoe, whether it's the Gel Nimbus, whether it's the Gel Cano, they experience little changes year by year that make the newer models quite a bit different than the older models. So with that being said, I am going to talk about the general difference between the Gel Cano and the Gel Nimbus and which one is suited for you no matter which year you pick it up. Now, let's start off with the Gel Nimbus, okay? This is a shoe that is made for the neutral runners. Well, Jordan, what the hell does that mean? This means that you are one of the lucky ones and that you have normal arches, okay? And that your arches stay intact as you are stepping or walking. So when you take a step, your feet are not rolling inwards, your feet are not rolling outwards, your feet are staying in line as you are walking. This is thought to be the ideal arch type, and if this is you, then the Gel Nimbus is for you. Now, a couple little details on the Gel Nimbus. It is quite simply one of the softest shoes ASICS makes. And although this shoe is built for anything from 5K to full-fledged marathons, I actually sold a lot of pairs of the Gel Nimbus to nurses and teachers. The reason being that these are jobs where you're on your feet all day and you want something that's very nice and soft yet supportive. So if you have neutral or normal arches and you like a soft ride, the Gel Nimbus is 100% for you. Now moving on to the Gel Cano, this is a shoe that's made for overpronators. What is overpronation you ask? Overpronation is when the foot has a low arch, okay, aka flat-footed. And when you are stepping, the arch collapses on itself and causes your foot to roll inwards. Now, no disrespect to anyone else, I'm an overpronator myself, but this is thought to be the not so ideal arch type. The reason being that if you are flat footed and you end up overpronating, right, this puts strain on your tendons, your muscles, your ligaments, and if it's done excessively over time, it can lead you to injuries and those sort of things. Hence, if you are someone who is flat footed and or roll inward as you step, then the Gel Cayano is for you. Now a bit about the Gel Cano, I have one right here. This shoe tends to be a little bit stiffer in the midsole compared to other A6 shoes and that is because it has what is called the Dual Max technology that A6 uses right there. Now this Dual Max is what stops your overpronation. Just the side effect is that it tends to be a little bit stiff, right? And if you ever hold a Gel Cano and you squeeze on that Dual Max material, you'll notice that it's much stiffer compared to the other part of the sole or the midsole. Me personally though, as an overpronator myself, I've owned the Gel Cano 23. I've also owned the Gel Cano 24. I own the Gel Cano 25 and the Gel Cano 26 if you would like to see a video review right there. And I can honestly tell you, although they start off stiff with the Dual Max, they break in very nicely and get super comfy over time, right? So although it starts stiff, I think it's still very much worth it because of the support that you're getting. And there you have it. So no matter which year or which model of either shoe you are picking up, it does not matter. That is the general difference between the Gel Nimbus and the Gel Cano. One is for someone with neutral or normal arches. The other one is for people who are flat footed and for people who over pronate. And the truth of the matter is that one is not necessarily better than the other. It depends more so on you and your arch type. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you found it informative. And if you did, please be sure to like and subscribe as it helps me out an absolute ton. And finally, if you have absolutely any further questions about either of these two models of the shoe, please in the comments, let me know and I will get back to you. Or let me know also which shoe you end up going with. With that being said, I'll be talking more things A6 very soon. So I hope you all are staying safe. I hope you all are staying healthy and I hope you all are having a wonderful day. So peace out, deuces, later, bam.